We now have some breaking news, and this is very significant. For those looking at what's the next huge step, you're wondering about Jack Smith. Well, Jack Smith, with a big development, the special counsel is in active talks with the Justice Department about how to end his federal prosecutions of President Trump. Now, this is according to a justice official familiar with the discussions. Discussions expected to last several days. But the person breaking this news, of course, is our excellent chief legal affairs correspondent, Paula Reed. Also with me, our Hello. senior legal analyst, Ellie Honig. But Paula, uh, look, this has been the huge question hanging all of this over the yeah. whole election. And now in the aftermath, what are you learning? So we knew there were a few options. Uh, if former president, who now is, of course, the president-elect, returned to the White House, there were a few ways that his federal cases could be resolved. One is he said that he would try to fire Jack Smith. Unclear if he could do that because Smith is not a presidential appointee, but it was expected that his Justice Department would drop these cases. It was clear once he was reelected, he was never going to face trial. But we knew there was another option, and that is that potentially the Biden Justice Department could try to resolve or wind down these cases before Trump takes office. And a lot of this stems from a, an office of legal counsel that is a department within the Justice Department that gives advice to lawyers who work there. Um, this memo that talks about prosecutions uh, of a sitting president, and they are looking very closely at that memo to try to determine how does that apply in this case, where you have two pending cases against a president-elect. Can they continue to move forward? Can they take additional steps? Right now, I'm told they are in discussions. Jack Smith talking with top leaders at the Justice Department about exactly what this looks like. I'm told that Jack Smith is someone who understands that he has to follow uh, whatever the rules and regulations of the Justice Department are. So at this point, they are looking for ways to wind this down. I'm told it's unclear when this will happen and what it'll look like. I mean, Paula, can I just ask you in terms Stutters. of your reporting, Stutters. given how the polls showed this would go, given that the Trump campaign didn't think this would go this way, given that the Harris campaign didn't mm -hmm. think this would go this way. I mean, did Jack Smith have this all sort of as a possibility really prepared? Or is he also just as human being Jack Smith human reacting being. to this in the moment and trying to figure it out? So in speaking with my sources, they were not aware of any discussions that had happened prior to today and said this is really the first time there have been formal discussions. But everyone who's oh. been looking at the polls knew that this was a, a possibility, right? I mean, Trump has been asked what would he do uh, regarding Jack Smith if he was reelected. But I'm told that the formal discussions, according to my source, have begun in earnest today. And it's going to take them several days to figure out exactly what this looks like and what they'll do. I'm also told not to expect likely any court hearings. These would likely be filings, if anything, that would try to resolve these cases. So, Ellie, look, we've been talking about this for, for years now. OK, we've been talking about this for years. Trump's appeared in courtrooms. We've all gone and sat in courtrooms where Trump has appeared in downtown New York. He's actually scheduled to appear in a New York courtroom in uh, just under three weeks to receive a sentence for his conviction on 34 counts of falsifying business records. So what happens to all of those cases? Do those cases, is that even happening as a sentencing or does that just gone? Well, Aaron, I do think the state sentencing, now we're getting away from the DOJ federal cases that Paula right. was talking about, but I do think that state sentencing will proceed on November 26. The reason is the judge in that case, Juan Mershon, originally had scheduled the sentencing for September, which would have been before the election, and then in a somewhat surprising ruling, he said, actually, I don't want to do anything that might impact the election, therefore I'm going to put it off until after the election. So now impacting the election is no longer a concern. But this will be a surreal moment. We are going to have the president-elect, not just a former president, but now the president-elect going into a county-level court sounds good. to receive his sentence. But I do want to stress this. No matter what the sentence is that Judge Mershon pronounces, if this goes ahead in a few weeks, it's almost entirely symbolic and formalistic. There is no way that the president-elect will be locked up, even in an ordinary right. circumstance. He would probably be allowed to appeal before he has to serve a sentence. So it'll be an important moment, an interesting moment. But anyone who's thinking Donald Trump is going to be locked up needs to just let go of that fantasy. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I just this is just a moment for people to consider what a me. different world we are feet. living in than than this country was living in six months ago on all of these stories. <laughs> Did it? Did
I'm so happy though. We won, bro. We got Trump back before GTA 6. We got Trump twice for GTA 6. Let's get to the video, man. So CNN is admitting obvious, saying that Trump can't go to jail now that he's won to be president-elect. What's crazy about this, that it shows that the entire trial was a sham. It was a sham. It was complete false. And it's disgusting to think that they can weaponize the DNC against their political opponents the way they did because it has no validation. They went after this man for nothing just to attack his character. And they even said if they go through with it, which these, these, these maniacs probably would, they said it would be entirely symbolic. And they like to do things that's symbolic. They just want to try to hurt his reputation as much as they can because now, unfortunately, they have to worry about 2028. They can't be focused on 24 anymore. But just to see them admit that anyone, you could tell that they were just in shambles, having to admit that, yeah, he's not going to go to jail. Anyone that thought he was going to jail, they're going to have to get rid of that. It is amazing. It is amazing. That's why I say nanny, nanny, boo boo. I've been so happy. Like, it's so funny to witness this. I've, <laughs> it's so funny to witness this. I'm just gleaming with joy. I'm not even going to cut that edit out because I, I, I generally just bust out laughing, man, because I am just so happy. They deserve it. They've treated conservatives so bad and Trump so bad. He deserves this win. And I'm so happy for him and everyone right now. I just I really am. I'm sorry if someone was liberal. They got bad at it. I'm sorry, dog. It's funny, bro. Nanny, nanny, boo boo. <laughs> Too bad. You can't get your way this time because it's wrong. She lost by 13 million votes. But it's, it's crazy. It's it, Like I said, it's scary because the DOJ can be weaponized against political opponents. And it doesn't really have to have any legal backing. Like, imagine if the man didn't have the money that he did. The stuff that they did is very intimidating when you think about it. Imagine if he wasn't a billionaire. Imagine if everything just wasn't perfect. That's why it feels like divine intervention. It was the perfect man. Or disaster. He was the perfect man to go against this. And Americans also had a comparison and contrast. They were able to compare uh, a Democrat presidency and a Republican presidency back to back. And they knew what life was like before Trump, like recent events and after. America chose to get him back. They didn't like what it was like after he was gone. And black men, heterosexual men, but black men, they definitely turned up a lot. They came in very heavily. Um, we had a lot of gay black males came in as well. It's just, you know, majority was on Kamala's side. That's just the majorities. But there was a surprising amount of black men overall that came into this election and voted. So did a great job. And of course, Scott Prester, like I will say over and over, he deserves a presidential medal of freedom. <laughs> what we're about to see now is the liberal media admit a lot of things. They're going to admit problems with 2020 most likely because the numbers don't add up with 2024 on how many votes they lost they're going to admit the entire criminal cases were frauds and shams they're going to admit that a lot of our government spending was completely navigated to the best interest of the democrat party and not america because a lot of things are about to get exposed this is about to be the year of revelations don't wait on 2025 no we're about to get a lot of revelations this year Start expecting people that looked over Jeffrey Epstein cases, etc., to start resigning. Start expecting a lot of things. There's a lot that people should be looking forward to and looking out to. And I'm going to keep everyone updated because we're in a new era. Now this content even changed. It's not so much about the problems of what a president is doing to the country. We're going to be breaking down on this channel how this country is changing. Because there's a lot of changes that's coming. And I think people are going to be very interested on what's on the way. Man, what a time to be alive. I'm sorry for taking up some time by just laughing, man. I just, this is a time to be alive. I'm, mm. this is a time to be alive. Look, do I, oh, this is the wrong side. This messes me up with the camera. I still got my sticker on, man. I still got my sticker on. I'm excited. I'm like a little kid, man. I voted for the first time yesterday and I made one of the best decisions, if not the best decision of my life, when I voted for Donald Trump. So, um, and the greatest thing about it, is that we in the era now where blacks aren't going to be called coons and this and that. And they're going to just accept us for who we are. 
And that's an amazing thing because the culture has shifted. You're seeing the people that's on the left starting to be called those names like D.L. Hughley. Look at his comments every once in a while. Look at D.L. Hughley's comments. He gets the same comments that black conservatives used to get in the past. And that only tells you one thing. That the people that used to call black conservatives those titles simply just start calling liberals that. <laughs> that's it. That's a big thing. Cultures are shifting. I don't know about the Latino culture, but I've been told their culture has been shifting. I would need some of the Latino audience. I know I have a good Latino audience. Shout out to Latino America. Let me know how your culture has been shifted through conservatism. But I've just seen pretty much in the name calling the black community has shifted over to liberals. I don't know if this has been the same with the whites or the Asians. I would love to hear it. But it's interesting. When we've seen a major shift, this is proof that this entire thing was a complete scam. And I'm excited. I'm excited moving forward. And I really want to see my main revelation is to see if Joe Biden was actually aiding Donald Trump. If he pardons Hunter Biden, we would know it's true. And I'm going to start breaking that down in other videos. I don't want to. But I, I truly do believe that Joe Biden has been aiding Donald Trump. He put on the red hat. He over the, over spoke on Kamala Harris when she was speaking against Ron DeSantis on his hurricane recovery. And Joe Biden said Ron DeSantis did a good job. He also uh, said that him and Kamala Harris work in unison when Kamala Harris tried to separate from him and his campaign when she was saying that they make decisions separately. So he's done a cute few things to sabotage Kamala Harris. I'm just interested to see if those things were random or if they were intentional. We are in for some revelations. Stay tuned. I'm probably going to have to be dropping more videos than usual because I have a lot to cover. I, Man, I got a lot to cover just today alone. If you in the ride with me, we're going to keep it dropping and I'm going to got some good exclusive news for you. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. It's really, really helped my channel. If you haven't noticed that notification bell, more than I could explain. But that like also as well. If you're not able to comment, the like helps out a ton too. See you guys on the next video, which will be very soon. Looking forward to it. Thank you.